Hi, and welcome to our first RIA Rapid. And for those who don't understand what that means, the RIA Rapid is gonna be a section of this YouTube channel where we break down a RIA question in a quick and rapid way. So today we're gonna to go ahead and start off with this domain one question. And the question reads, when a healthcare entity destroys health records, after the acceptable retention period has been met, a certificate of destruction is created. How long must the healthcare entity maintain the certificate of destruction? Now, before we go through the answers, we wanna first identify exactly what the key term is gonna be for this question. And our focus here is going to be the certificate of destruction, and that's also called the COD. So in order to answer this question correctly, we have to first understand what a COD is. So let's go ahead and explore that quickly. So what I did is this is a article piece from the AHIMA website and they do a great job of breaking down what a COD is. So major healthcare facilities generally choose to meet their documentation destruction needs through outsourcing. So they'll hire someone outside of the facility to help them destroy documents. And that COD is the documentation or audit trail that is provided to that hospital to show who destroyed the document and when the document was actually destroyed. And I wanted to also show you guys kind of an example, a template rather of what a COD would look like. So let's go ahead and check that out really quickly. So here we have an example of a COD. And this is once again, coming from a HEMA. And as you can see, this document or the COD will have a section to fill out the date that the document was destroyed, a description of what exactly those records contained, um, the burning method, the inclusive dates covered, the witness that actually saw the document be destroyed, the record, um, destroyer, so who actually got rid of the records in general. And there's even a section here for a department manager. And so you want to think about all of these things and just the importance of having this information as we answer this question. So let's go ahead and go back to the question and pick out the right answer. So now that we know what a COD is, how long would we want to keep the COD as a healthcare entity? Would it be two years, five years, 10 years, or permanently? So the correct answer here is permanently. I would want to have a permanent audit trail of every document that has been destroyed you know, for that facility. So the correct answer here would be D. So I hope that was helpful. And we're gonna continue doing these on this channel. So if you like what you're seeing, please like and subscribe to our channel, share to any friends that may benefit. And I will see you guys on the next RIA Rapid. Okay.